There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of love. There shall be season refreshing. Economics with the music. Sir, so, that is shown here. Young India, are you ready? Let's begin. National income by expenditure method. National income accounting with the help of expenditure method. What is expenditure method? The main start, final goods and services purchased by a consumer or a household during an accounting year is called expenditure method. There are different components used for calculating national income by expenditure method. Well, calculating national income by expenditure method, first of all, we do calculate domestic income. While calculating domestic income, we will get a GDP MP, gross domestic product at market price. So, what are our components? So, we add to get a GDP MP in expenditure method, we have to focus on. First of all, private final consumption expenditure. What is it? Private final consumption expenditure. What is private final consumption expenditure? When the household is buying final goods and services during an accounting year is called a final consumption expenditure. Plus, government final consumption expenditure. Whenever the government is spending money for buying or uh, you know buying goods and services during an accounting year is called a government final consumption expenditure. Plus, gross capital formation for the production of final goods and services whatever amount invested by the producer invested by the producer is called gross capital formation the another two components behind this gross capital formation is gross fixed capital formation that means gross fixed capital formation means the fixed assets purchased by the uh, producer plus change in stock or inventory stock we can say that closing stock minus opening stock physical assets are changed other new assets instead of that new assets kept for the production process by the producer then it is called a closing stock minus opening stock we can call it is an inventory stock we can say change in stock understand so how do we calculate national income by expenditure method Focus on here. Don't worry about it. Nothing is very difficult over here, my dears. Come on. How to calculate national income with the help of expenditure method or disposable income method? The another name of expenditure method is disposable income method. First of all, we have to focus private to final consumption expenditure. Means the private individuals or the household is buying goods and services. Final goods and services. Then there exist a private to final consumption expenditure then after government final consumption expenditure plus our gross capital formation gross the word gross capital formation be very careful about it gross capital formation if suppose in examination net capital formation is given then what do you have to do net already we know that net plus plus depreciation is equal to net plus depreciation is equal to gross. We know this. Suppose net capital formation is given plus depreciation. You have to add depreciation for getting gross value. Be very careful about it. So gross capital formation, there are two components behind it. Gross fixed capital formation, fixed assets purchased by the uh, producer or invested investment made by the producer for the production of final goods and services is called gross capital formation. Whatever goods purchased by the producer for the purpose of production of final goods and services, this is investment of producer is called a gross capital formation. Suppose instead of gross net is given, you have to add a depreciation for getting this gross value then this gross capital formation are having two components means collectively these two elements after adding you will get a gross capital formation whenever the value is given only gross capital formation and the change in stock if it is given given you have to add these both you will get a gross capital formation be very careful my dears so gross fixed capital formation plus change in stock change in stock means inventory stock or closing stock 
minus opening stroke. The difference between closing stroke minus opening stroke, you will get inventory stroke, otherwise change in stroke. Finally, we are calculating GDP MB. Finally, we are calculating GDP MB. Expenditure method is very easy and simple. Private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross capital formation. Gross capital formation is not given. You will get gross fixed capital formation, fixed assets of the producer or fixed investment of the producer plus change in stock. Instead of change in stock, you will get inventory stock. If both are not given, closing stroke and opening stroke value you will get. So, you have to find out the difference between closing stroke and opening stroke. Understand? So, after, after adding these all values, we can calculate GDP MP. How to convert this GDP MP into NNP, FC, already we have discussed in our previous topics. Is that clear? Purchasing expenditure method, how to calculate it. Understand? Come on, hurry up. GDP MD. With the help of expenditure method, after calculating national income, we have got GDP MB. Right, what is how to convert a GDP MB into national income? That is NNP FC. Very simple and easy. This song everyone knows that. What is it? The song G to N. Minus depreciation. D to N plus N of I A. MB to FC minus N I T. Very simple. We are getting national income. So expenditure method. How to calculate national income with the help of expenditure method. First of all, private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross capital formation plus plus net export net export what is net export export minus import right export minus import which means Simply, you will get the value of private final consumption expenditure as it is, government final consumption expenditure as it is, you will get, and the gross capital formation, here may be different words of information you will get. Maybe net capital formation, if it is given, you have to convert this net into gross, so plus depreciation. Okay, if suppose net capital formation given in examination, you have to add the value of depreciation for getting gross capital formation, alright. Then after, I hope you are getting what I am saying. Then after, if suppose GCF not given, means gross capital formation is not given, you may get gross fixed capital formation okay gross fixed capital formation which means this is the investment understand this is the investment made by producer producer invested in his unit understand so how much amount he invested for fixed asset fixed asset purchasing pur purchasing for fixed asset so gross fixed capital formation plus what all are the change in stock? How much amount he changed or how much physical materials he changed within the year? That is what called a change in stock. Change in stock. What is another name of change in stock? Inventory stock. Inventory stock. Okay. Agar inventory, if inventory stock is not given, may you will get a change in stock is not given, you will get a Closing stock and the opening stock. If closing stock value and the opening stock value both are given, what we have to do? We have to find the difference between these two. Closing stock minus opening stock. And then, you know what type of uh, mistake you people are committing? Opening stock minus closing stock you do. Please don't do it. Closing stock minus opening stock. Okay? You have to keep it in mind. Closing stock minus opening stock. Whatever value we are getting, you should add with the net export. Net export means what about the 
uh, you know goods and services exported from our country to another country and how much quantity of goods we imported from their country to another country to our country that is what export minus import is suppose net export directly given you have to add with uh, these all components if it is not given export and import is separately given then find the difference between export and import what value you are getting you add it with the above components you will get a gdp mp and how to do gdp mp to nnpfc nnpfc means national income right here we are getting domestic income here we have to calculate a national income and i hope you got it children and Today's topic is over, expenditure method and next we are beginning with the money and banking chapter. Don't miss it and watch it. If you are having any doubt, you can please comment in comment box and you can suggest your uh, you know, requirements and needs. If you need some translation in Hindi, I will try my best to make you understand that. Don't lose it and don't forget to subscribe and like. This is the motivation for me to uploading more videos for you children. Alright? And yes, of course, signing up by Sarada Kishore, Economics with the BSC. Are you ready?